Hello you guys and welcome back to the channel. I am so excited to share with you guys my updated soft glam routine. I will say I'm a little bit nervous for this video because I have not stocked up on new makeup in a hot minute. Like I, okay, it's just my foundation. Like I have not stocked up on a full coverage foundation in a minute. Today though, we are going to be using the Maybelline Fit Me in the shade 350. I just don't know how full this thing is. So that's the only thing that I'm nervous about, but let's get right into it. I have a lot of things planned today that I have to do. Um, a lot of content to film for you guys. If you see me looking this way, it's because my mirror is literally like right here. And this is what I'm like looking at to help me see because I don't want to be like staring at myself in the viewfinder <laughs> so let's get into it okay we're starting off with the great brow basics kit from benefit cosmetics I raved about this in a video not too long ago because I have been wanting this for so long it's such good quality for money like you literally get an entire brow kit gel spoolie two different like brow pencils all for the price of like two or the price of one basically my brows always come out so much better if I make sure that they they're like properly plucked beforehand and I've just shaped them really really well because I honestly I'm not a huge fan of like filling them in so 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 much I like doing the bare minimum to them oh and I love a good brow wax I'm not even kidding you when I tell you that's how much I fill them in like nothing more than that so to achieve that I used the goof proof pencil because I realized I didn't say which one <laughs> then my gosh I'm literally running out of all my favorites <laughs> I have the NYX brow glue I got this while I was in the UK. I've never seen this in South Africa. I don't even think we stock NYX products. But I love this because it just snatches them so well. They literally look laminated when I'm done. Like, look at just that one. How good. I honestly really want to try out the Got To Be Brow Glue. But I've seen a lot of mixed reviews. Some of the girlies absolutely love it. And some of the girlies are like, no, would not purchase again. So I don't know, you guys. But I'm running out of this next brow glue. So I might just might just have to see for myself. Next, we are going in. We're going to conceal our brows. Um, basically, just shape them out. We're using Huda Beauty's Faux Filter Concealer in the shade Praline. I literally have so many of these because I love them so much. The third one, where is it? Well, yeah, I have so many of these because I love them so much. Honestly, guys, don't worry too much about the brushes that I use because I, I'm not like a huge brush person. Like if a brush is good, it works. Like I'm not the type of person who needs, you know, Morphe brushes only, MAC brushes only. Like if a brush works, it works. <laughs> Okay, once I've carved them out like this, I'm gonna go in with a brush. I usually like to use a beauty blender, but this brush, okay, this is the first time I am gonna plug some brushes. The Real Technique brushes that I got from R are so good. I use this brush over here, and I'm literally going to just blend this out. Okay, I was just smelling my brush because sometimes they smell weird. <laughs> Okay, once I've blended it out to about that point, then the next part of my routine is to grab my contour shade and basically contour around the edges of my face. Can we call it that? Like my forehead and the sides of my cheeks. <laughs> I really like doing this before I put foundation on because I feel like it just makes the foundation blend so much better. Um, You guys know, like if your face is not the same color everywhere, and I feel like a lot of black girls can relate to this, like our foreheads will be a different color than our cheeks then our chins and our noses so it's like just to have the contour to just make everything copacetic see you don't even do too much with it just enough now i can go in with my foundation <laughs> like i said we're using the fit me foundation from maybelline and i'm in the shade 350 guys i wasn't joking i'm legit running out Now I'm going to grab a beauty blender and blend this out but before that I just kind of want to smooth it with my finger just so we get an even coverage everywhere. I don't do this often but when I do I really like how it looks. Reminds me of Meredith Duxbury on TikTok who like blends in her foundation with her fingers. I've always thought that was wild like crazy. I don't think I could ever do that. I just it just feels like a waste of makeup to me. Alrighty beauty blender time. I 
see how good that looks especially on the forehead like like so nicely blended just gonna blend a little bit more but i really like how it looks okay next we are going to do the nose contour and the cheek contour you guys i used to do this so harshly like the darkest color i could find because i wanted it to like really like show that i was wearing contour girl but now i just use like a simple brown from pro concealer la girl and i literally just use that because i realized you know you don't need the darkest contour for it to show a shade or two darker will still work i think going in on the cheeks as well oh my gosh that looks yummy blends like butter this is the fancy contour stick by the way it's the mini and it's in the shade i think this is uh what is this oh espresso 05 i know it's quite a big brush for quite a small area but i promise you it gets the job done still okay after i'm done with that my next step is to blush so i was in mr price this one time because i was really interested in like seeing what nice outfits they have for really cheap prices and i came across their makeup and i saw this quick face blush when i picked it up i actually thought it was powder blush but turns out it's a cream blush which is fine i've been loving it i've literally been using it since the day i got it i used this brush i got this brush with a pack of brushes i think off of shein so i literally just get a little bit and okay cool look at how good this looks this combo over here oh my gosh so good the blush with the contour eats every time then now it's time to go in with concealer <laughs> this used to be one of the first steps i would do i can't find my concealer okay i found it <laughs> this used to be one of the first steps i would do now i literally wait and it's like one of the last in the cream product steps the chin under the eyes remember i don't do too 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 much because this is still soft glam I just make this little shape under both eyes on my nose the tip of my nose and then up the bridge of my nose i think i'm also gonna do um these little crevices here crevices girl i mean smile lines <laughs> and i like to let that sit for a little bit before i blend it in because i find that it has a much better blend also when i'm blending out my concealer i don't just use a beauty blender and i don't just use a brush your girl uses both so i'm gonna grab this little brush again from real techniques this is the same one you guys saw earlier and I'm gonna start blending from the fore, from the forehead, from the chin up. Like, look how good that is. Ah, oh, I love this brush. I do get on my cupid's bow as well when I'm blending here. Then I leave the under eyes for a second, I go straight to the forehead. So just skip this part. And look how bomb it's blending. Because it's time to just even this out really nicely. I use a brush for the bridge of my nose and the tip of my nose. I just find that it gives it a softer blend and it's for some reason more accurate than my beauty blender. I don't know, maybe it's just my hand. Okay, just a tip before you guys get ready to blend your under eyes. If you want that super smooth airbrush look, make sure you have whatever setting powder you're going to use on deck and ready, okay? I'm using this one. It's I'll show you the back of it. It's the Pro Filter one from Fenty Beauty in the shade Lavender. And I make sure I have this open and ready because as soon as we're done blending this out, you need to set it. To help me set everything, I'm going to use this little powder puff over here. I got a whole pack of these when i was in the uk best buy ever and when i say have your powder ready i literally mean have it on the powder puff like be ready shall we blend guys and take your time with this hey don't rush you want it to look good and as soon as we're done blending we said so there's powder everywhere right now but look at how smooth that is we're gonna fix the powder but look at that how good let's do the next eye slay <laughs> powder routine is serious guys i'm gonna powder everywhere i put concealer now don't be scared i'm gonna grab a really big fluffy brush and here's my little trick i grab a 
pressed powder in my, where is this? In my foundation shade. Really get that on the brush and blend away the excess powder. Yeah, I'll take a second to look at that base. Take a second for that base. Okay, now I'm gonna grab my contour powder and go over all the places that I contoured, but in this darker shade. This is in the shade Coco Naughty. This is also from Fenty Beauty. I'm gonna use a big old brush for this. And the eyelids as well. I contour the eyelids. I use it like a like an eyeshadow and I get this all over my lid. Okay, now to bring some color back in the face, we're going to use a powder blush. You can use any blush. I honestly, I'm not picky about the ones I use, but today I'm gonna use one from Fenty. This is the one in Ruby Riches. I really like this one because it doubles as a blush and a highlighter in one. Look how stunning that is. Then we're gonna finish off this powder routine with some highlights. Again, you can tell how much I love Fenty. We're gonna be using the Kilowatt highlighter and we're gonna be using the shade Fire Crystal. I like putting it on my nose, the bridge and the tip of my nose. Could never forget about the brow bone. Mmm, look at that. Okay guys, I'm just quickly going to put on mascara and stick lashes. This is a soft glam routine, so I literally don't do any eyeshadow, but you'll see how bomb this looks in a second and that's gonna be the end of the routine obviously we're gonna put on lip gloss but we'll do that in a second okay you guys and that is the finished look i'm gonna zoom you out a bit but okay so let me give you guys the details of what i've done to my eyes over here for mascara i used the l'oreal telescopic lift mascara i love this mascara so much i got it from l'oreal in their pr and honestly it's been a staple in my bag ever since however it is a bit pricey but there is also the max stack i think this is less pricier than the L'Oreal one or oops focus 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 okay I don't know which one is more or less pricey but like those two are really really good if you're looking for one the lashes nothing fancy literally just lashes from Shein like <laughs> Oh, no, no, no. Actually, those ones were from Take A Lot. So, lashes from Take A Lot. Um, and then on the lips, I just lined my lips with a brown lip liner from... What is this from? I feel like this is... Oh, Born This Way. I got this at Discam. It's literally just some random brown liner. So, I'm saying, guys, you don't need super fancy stuff to be able to do really pretty makeup. Like, I promise you, the basics will work. And then lip gloss. You already know my favorite lip gloss of all time is... Fenty Beauty. This one is in the shade Fenty Glow. But something that works really, really well and is not as expensive as the Fenty Beauty one, you can get the Lifter Gloss from Discam. You can tell I love this so much. Like, it's basically empty at this point. I need to get a new one. But yeah, that is the completed makeup routine. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll make sure I leave all of the details of all the products that I used in the description down below. I cannot wait to see you guys in the next one. And if you recreate this makeup look, please tag me. I want to see. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and TikTok and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.